Good morning, PHS. Today is Monday, October 30th, a day two, and a junior senior physical education day. Today, representatives from Bryant and Stratton will be here period seven, Canton period eight, and St. John's also during period eight. Tomorrow, come and check out Baldwin Wallace University period three, West Virginia period six, and Towns Towson University also during period six. Check the list on the scrolling announcements or outside the counseling office for the other colleges scheduled to visit PHS this week. Registration is now open for all winter sports teams. Please register online at www.familyid.com. Physical exams must be dated November 1st, 2016 or after and on file in the nurse's office. Time is running out. Register now for winter sports. The PHS Drama Club Fall Production is Clue. Performances are Thursday, November 16th through Saturday, November 18th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available online at now at brownpapertickets.com or the PHS Play Tickets link on the Penfield Central School District homepage. In-person ticket sales begin next Monday, October 31st at the PHS Main Library, the P Main Office, the PHS Library, and from Mrs. Darling in room H18. All advanced tickets are $8. At the door, tickets will be $10. Attention senior boys, if you are interested in playing in the boys versus girls field hockey game, please contact Liz Elvett or Hope Wilder. Student council will meet today at 2.30 and D38. Minecraft is canceled today. Please join the French club tomorrow after school in room C41 for our annual Halloween scavenger hunt. There will be candy Masterminds will practice tomorrow at 2.30 and D38. There will be a Western New York Consortium Fair on Wednesday, November 1st through se during 7th period at the foyer by the nurse's office. The Pendulum, our award-winning student newspaper, will meet this Wednesday. There is always room on our staff for more writers, editors, photographers, and more. We'll see you Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. in Computer Lab H7. The sophomore class council will meet after school in room H16, Mr. Garbarino's room, on Wednesday, November 1st. New members are always welcome. Any questions, see Mr. G or Mrs. Garone. Trees, bees, and manatees. There will be a mandatory meeting of the environmental club in Mr. Wallen's room, D28, after school on Wednesday. New members are always welcome. Interested in joining the wrestling team? This Thursday, there will be a meeting for all students interested in joining the wrestling team this year after school in the cafeteria. All returners are expected to be there, and new members are always welcome. Don't forget to register online. You must be cleared by the nurse before you can practice. And attention, mathletes, our next meet is Thursday, November 2nd at Canandaigua. We will be having a practice session at Mrs. Vivers' room, 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday, November 1st as well. Come sign up in J9 to compete with us. Want to join the cross crunchy ski team? <laughs> Come to our meeting Thursday, November 2nd at 3 p.m. in the conference room, A1. Penfield PTSA celebrates the arts by inviting students to participate in the PTA Reflections program. This year's theme is Within Reach to participate. Please, please reflect on the theme, create an original work, submit it, and be recognized. Students may submit entries in six art areas, dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and visual arts. The deadline for submissions is Friday, November 3rd. However, please let Mr. Lorenzo know by tomorrow that you want to enter. Attention seniors, MCC will be here on Thursday, November 9th for an instant decision day. If you are considering attending MCC and want to apply, or if you have already applied and have questions, this is a perfect opportunity to speak with the MCC representative one-on-one, -on -one, stop by the counseling office for more details and to sign up for an appointment. Congrats to the varsity gymnastics team as they scored their highest total of the season at their sectional meet this past Saturday. They won the team's sportsmanship award for section five. Congratulations to Barbara Buck and Rachel Leet for placing in the top six. Rachel Leet will be moving on to the state meet in March. Congratulations on an amazing season. Good morning, PHS. A couple reminders about costumes for tomorrow. Costumes must meet the dress code. No masks or full facial paint. Costumes should not promote or reflect violence. Any accessories should not be nor look like real weapons. Costumes should not show prejudice towards any racial, ethnic, or religious group. And last but not least, costumes should be fun. 
What's happening today? The field hockey team continues its pursuit of a sectional title with a game versus Webster Thomas at East Rochester High School starting at 5 p.m. The positive message of the day is brought to you by Sources of Strength. Not everyone will understand your journey, which is okay. Have a great day, PHS. I was working in the lab late one night When my eyes beheld an eerie sight For my monster from his slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the mash He did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash He did the mash It caught on in a flash He did the mash He did the monster mash For my love Natari in the castle east to the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble abodes To catch a jolt from my electrode They did the mash They did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash They did the mash It caught on in a flash They did the mash They did the monster mash The zombies were having fun The party had just begun the guests included Wolfman, Dracula, and his son. The scene was rocking, oh, we're digging the sounds. He got on chains backed by his baying hounds. The coffin bangers were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. The monster mash. And it was a graveyard smash. They played the mash. It's caught on in a flash. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. Out from his coffin, Drax's voice did ring. Seems he was troubled by just one thing. Opened the lid and shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. The monster mash. It's now a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax a part of the band And my monster mash is the hit of the land For you, the living, this mash was meant to When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent Then you can mash Then you can monster mash The monster mash And do my graveyard smash Then you can mash You'll catch on with a flash Then you can mash Then you can monster mash Good morning, PHS. Today is Tuesday, October 31st, a day three in a freshman sophomore physical education day. Today, representatives from Baldwin Wallace University are here during period three, which is right now. You can also meet representatives from West Virginia and Towson University during period six. Tomorrow, the following colleges will be here, RIT period two, Syracuse period three, St. Mary's period four, and do not forget the Western New York College Consortium tomorrow during period seven. Check the list on the scrolling announcements or outside the counseling office for the other colleges scheduled to visit PHS this week. Registration is now open for all winter sports teams. Please register online at www.familyid.com. Physical exams must be dated November 1st, 2016 or after and on file in the nurse's office. Time is running out. Register for winter sports now. The PHS Drama Club Fall Production is Clue. Performances are Thursday, November 16th through Saturday, November 18th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available online now at brownpapertickets.com or the PHS Play Tickets link on the Penfield Central School District homepage. In-person ticket sales begin today, October 31st at the PHS Main, Library, Main Office and the PHS Library and for Mrs. Darling in room H18. All advanced tickets are $8. At the door, tickets will be $10. Attention senior boys, if you are interested in playing in the boys versus girls field hockey game, please contact Liz Elvett or Hope Wilder. Please join the French Club today after school in room C41 for our annual Halloween scavenger hunt. There will be candy. Masterminds will practice today at 2.30 and D38. The Pendulum, our award-winning student newspaper, will meet tomorrow. There's always room on our staff for more writers, editors, photographers, and more. We'll see you tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. in Computer Lab H7. 
The sophomore class council will meet after school in room H16, Mr. Garbarino's room, tomorrow. New members are always welcome. Any questions, see Mr. G or Mrs. Garone. The mock trial team meeting on court objections will be tomorrow after school in H26. Remember to prepare an objection to present to the group. Trees, bees, and manatees. There will be a mandatory meeting of the environmental club in Mr. Wallen's room, D28, after school tomorrow. New members are always welcome. Interested in joining the wrestling team? This Thursday, there will be a meeting for all students interested in joining the wrestling team this year after school in the cafeteria. All returners are expected to be there. New members are welcome. Don't forget to register online. You must be cleared by the nurse before you can practice. Attention Mathletes, our next meeting is Thursday, November 2nd at Canandaigua. We'll be having a practice session in Mrs. Vibber's room at 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday, November 1st as well. Come sign up in J9 to compete with us. Coach Giotto will host a preseason informational meeting about the Penfield Nordic Ski Team this Thursday at 3 p.m. in room A1. All interested students are invited to attend. Attention Mosaics Club members. Our field trip to Greece, Greece Arcadia has been approved. Please see Mr. Garbarino as soon as possible to pick up our permission slip. Signed permission slips are due back to Mr. G by Friday. Penfield PTSA celebrates the arts by inviting students to participate in the PTA Reflections Program. This year's theme is Within Reach. To participate, reflect on the theme, create, a, create an original, original work, and submit it and be recognized. Students may submit entries in six arts areas. You ready? Dance choreography, film production, literature, musical composition, photography, and visual arts. The deadline for submissions is Friday, November 3rd. However, please let Mr. Lorenzo know by October 30th, that was yesterday, <laughs> that you want to enter. Uh, congratulations to Abby Guyon and Caitlin Hogan. They were the first girls from Penfield to go to the New York State Championships in tennis in 14 years. They help represent... <laughs> They helped represent Section 5 as one of the three doubles teams to attend. They had a great tournament, barely losing to the semis of the consolation round. Kudos to you girls. Congratulations. Here is what's happening. Tonight, the boys' volleyball team hosts sectional game at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, the girls' volleyball team travels to Webster Schrader to take on Fairport for sectionals at 5.30 p.m. The positive message of the day is brought to you by Sources of Strength. Ghosts and goblins, spooks, glores, scary witches at your door. Jack o' Landers, shining bright, wishing you a haunting you a haunting night. Be safe everyone. Have a great, Have a great day, day PHS. Dracula and his son. The scene was rocking the digging. PHS. Today is Wednesday, November 1st, a day four, and a junior senior physical education day. Today, representatives will be here from Syracuse period three, which is right now, St. Mary's period four, and do not forget about the Western New York College Consortium today during period seven. Friday, St. John Fisher will be here period three and Gettysburg period six. Attention with winter athletes, time is running out. Register for winter sports now at www.familyid.com. Attention senior boys, if you are interested in playing in the boys versus girls field hockey game, please contact Liz Elvett or Hope Wilder. The Pendulum, our award-winning student newspaper, will meet today. There is always room on our staff for more writers, editors, photographers, and more. We'll see you today at 2.30 in Computer Lab H7. The sophomore class council will meet after school in room H16, Mr. Garbarina's room, today. New members are always welcome. Any questions, see Mr. G or Mrs. Garone. The mock trial team will meet today on court objections after school on H26. Remember to prepare an objection to present to the group. Trees, bees, and manatees. There will be a mandatory meeting of the environmental club in Mr. Wallen's room, D28, after school today. New members are always welcome. Interested in joining the wrestling team? Tomorrow there will be a meeting for all students interested in joining the wrestling team this year after school in the cafeteria. All returners are expected to be there. New members are welcome. Don't forget to register online. You must be cleared by the nurse before you can practice. 
Attention mathletes, our next meet is tomorrow at Canandaigua. We will be having a practice session in Mrs. Vibber's room today at 2.30 p.m. Come join, come sign up at J9 to compete with us. The Animal Rights Club will meet tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. in room D2. See you then. And Coach Giotto will host a preseason informational meeting about the Penfield Nordic Ski Team tomorrow at 3 p.m. in room A1. All interested students are invited to attend. Attention Mosaics Club members, our field trip to Greece Arcadia has been approved. Please see Mr. Garbarino as soon as possible to pick up a permission slip. Signed permission slips are due back to Mr. G by Friday. Penfield PTSA celebrates the arts by inviting students to participate in the PTA Reflections Program. The deadline for submissions is this Friday. Attention stage crew, we will meet this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear pink clothes and meet in the hallway behind the stage. New members are always welcome. Love fishing? Want to learn more about fishing? The PHS Fishing Club will meet Wednesday, November 8th in G14 after school at 2.20 p.m. See Miss Roundy or Mrs. Spry if you can't make it. Attention seniors, MCC will be here on Thursday, November 9th for an instant decision day. If you are considering attending MCC or want to apply, or if you've already applied and have questions, this is the perfect opportunity to speak with an MCC representative one-on-one. -on -one. So stop by to the counseling office for details and to sign up for an appointment. Winter and second semester Saturday 2018 driver ed class registration will begin on Wednesday, December 6th at 7 a.m. The cost is $550. You can pick up your registration forms in the counseling office with Mrs. Stampone or on the Penfield High School website. Here's what's happening tonight. The girls volleyball team travels to Webster Schrader to take on Fairport for sectionals at 5.30. The positive message of the day is brought to you by Sources of Strength. November is the month to remind us to be thankful for the many positive things happening in our life. Have a great day, Penfield. Go Dodger! Good morning, PHS. Today is Thursday, November 2nd, a day five, and a junior senior physical education day. Tomorrow, representatives will be here from St. John Fisher, period three, and Gettysburg, period six. Check the list on the scrolling announcements or outside the counseling office for the other colleges scheduled to visit PHS. Attention winter athletes, time is running out. Register for winter sports now at familyid.com. The PHS Drama Club Fall Production is Clue. Performances are Thursday, November, November 16th through Saturday, November 18th at 7 p.m. Tickets are available online now at brownpapertickets.com or the PHS Play Tickets link on the Penfield Central School District homepage. In-person ticket sales begin next m Monday, October 31st at the PHS Main Office, the PHS Library, and from Mrs. Darling in room H18. All advanced tickets are $8 at the door, and at the door tickets will be $10. Attention senior boys, if you are interested in playing in the boys versus girls field hockey game, please contact Liz Elvett or Hope Wilder. Interested in joining the wrestling team? Today there will be a meeting for all students interested in joining the wrestling team this year after school in the cafeteria. All returners are expected to be there. New members are welcome. Don't forget to register online. You must be cleared by the nurse before you can practice. Attention mathletes, our next meet is today at Canadagua. The Animal Rights Club will meet today at 2.30 p.m. in room D2. See you then. Coach Giotto will host a preseason informational meeting about the Penfield Nordic Ski Team today at 3 p.m. in room A1. All interested students are invited to attend. Attention all Sources of Strength peer leaders. Please plan to attend a Sources of Strength meeting in period 3 tomorrow in H21. Questions see Mrs. Niesel or Mrs. Talone in the counseling office. Attention Mosaics Club members, our field tip to Greece Arcadia has been approved. Please see Mr. Garbarino as soon as possible to pick up a permission slip. Signed permission slips are due back to Mr. G by tomorrow. Penfield PTSA celebrates the arts by inviting students to participate in the PTA Reflections Program. The deadline for submissions is tomorrow. The SAT exam is Saturday. Students should be in the building no later than 7.30 a.m. Bring pencils, snacks, and check the SAT website for materials you need to bring. The exam starts at 8 a.m. sharp. 
and you must turn in your electronics to the room proctor before the exam or leave them in your car. Don't forget your picture ID and admission ticket. Good luck Saturday. Attention stage crew, we will meet this, meet this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wear paint clothes and meet in the hallway behind the stage. New members are always welcome. Love fishing? Want to learn more about fishing? The PHS Fishing Club will meet Wednesday, November 8th in G14 after school at 2.20 p.m. See Miss Roundy or Mrs. Spry if you can't make it. Attention seniors, MCC will be here on Thursday, November 9th for an instant decision day. If you are considering an attending MCC and want to apply or if you already applied and have questions, this is a perfect opportunity to speak with an MCC representative one-on-one. -on -one. Stop by the counseling office for details and sign up and to sign up for an appointment. The Varsity Club, a club that focuses on community service, will have its next meeting on Thursday, November 9th, after school in room D19, Mr. Porto's room. You do not need to be on a sport team to be a member. If you want to serve the community, come check us out. Also, congratulations to the girls' swim team for competing at sectional prelims last night. Big shout out to Tony Naccarella, who set a school record in the 200 freestyle, and to Tony, Sarah, Viola, Maria Nenadich, and Marie Naccarella for setting another school record in the 400 freestyle. Congratulations. Sophomores, sophomores, are you interested in an outstanding leadership opportunity? Each year, a member of the 10th grade class is selected as the Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award recipient, also known as the Hobie Award. This is an award given to a student who demonstrates leadership and commitment to his or her school community. The winner will attend a Hobie Leadership Seminar.